like to particularly recognize Professor Ashiru. I believe it was 12 years ago that we actually jointly held a conference to talk about the issues of infertility and to try to find ways to help. Since then, I think in our program in the Wellbeing Foundation, we've had nine deliveries. But I, I do have to say, and I'm speaking to the Honorable Minister for Health here, that treatment for infertility is really, really expensive. And so I would hope that the Nigerian government will partner the private sector to find ways of making treatment more accessible to women and families around Nigeria. Merck, I want to say a huge thank you to Merck. I think I was eight years old when my father took me to Merck's factory in Pennsylvania where they were producing a flu vaccine. So I certainly know how old Merck is in Nigeria. I would like to ask that I believe the way forward for our health systems in Nigeria to be able to build the resilience to tackle challenges such as our migrant situation or the infertility situation is to actually strengthen the very lowest tier of health care so that this is accessible to everybody in the country. By this, I mean strengthening primary health care, strengthening record keeping, strengthening financing for health care so that health care is truly inclusive. From the Forum of Senators' Wives, I will pledge today that we will carry this advocacy to every nook and cranny of our husband's constituencies because we believe that womenhood, <laughs> womenhood to us is a sisterhood. From the Wellbeing Foundation and the Mama Care midwives that I work with, who provide as Africa's first health service visitor program, we have been doing skills and drills for midwives and for mothers and also for adolescents. We will adopt the issue of non-stigmatization into our classes. We will also adopt it into a maternal Monday campaign. And we really, we've seen the transformation that investing in the value of a woman can make from Khadija and from Berna here. And we would like to just ask everyone in Nigeria to invest because this is actually a financial investment in the life and value of a woman. A small investment can reap huge rewards. So congratulations, Future Assured. Congratulations, the National Assembly. Congratulations in advance, our Honorable Minister of Health and our Honorable Minister of Women Affairs. And most of all, thank you to Merck. Truly, one can be a woman, and to be a full woman is being more than a mother. Congratulations. God bless. Thank you.